what if whatever anyone says they want explainability, uh, we've been making the argument up till now that they want control instead. I don't think it's always control, but I always think it's, I think it's always something else other than explainability. Mm. So for instance, there's this concept of trust. Sometimes when people say they want explainability, they just want a reliable measurement of how a system is going to perform in production. Uh, yeah, that they have trust in, that they feel okay with. And I think there are other times when people say they want explainability, they actually want fairness. They want to know that uh, in some mission critical scenario where there's this possibility of being systematically biased towards some population, you're not. <laughs> so both of those scenarios, you might ask for explainability, but what you really want is one of those other outcomes. I, I think it's really interesting because it, it does also feel like it's twinned in a lot of ways with control, right? It, it's almost like guarantees and control, right? Or it's like on the one hand, you've got these very particular goals that are going to align with some human level understanding of the problem. But I think that, you know, when you look at bias, one of the key issues today is like, okay, you've got bias in a model. Hey, it's hard to find. So maybe, you know, there is some base level of benchmarking and transparency that is important before you can even really start to have the explainability problem. But let's <laughs> say you've got, you've got the first level explainability that's just metrics and benchmarks and you found the bias, right? Uh, or you've, you've found, you know, an accuracy metric that's wrong, then you've maybe got the second level that is, okay, now you've actually found the bias, right? Because that, that takes more still. Um, but then there's that question of, okay, now I have found the bias, um, what can I do to mitigate the bias, right? And I think that becomes sort of the third piece. And it becomes hard for me, I think, to, to say like in that line, you know, where does explainability start and end? Um, you know, without being able to go through that whole process end to end, I, I, uh, I feel like you haven't delivered explainability, but, but maybe, Maybe that's not quite the right way to view it. Maybe that maybe that's too purist. Maybe explainability, you know, just means a lot of different things to a lot of different people, uh, and and these are different concepts. I'm I'm not sure. 